Now, the first file we'll install will be install plugins. This will install the plugins into the apps folder under voice attack. Double click it. You present it with the start screen. Hit next. Read your license agreement. Accept. Next. Setup guide. Next. And on user information, you can put anything you want. I normally put in the email that I used when I initially purchased my product. And my organization, I put Soul 3. That's the planet I'm currently on. Now this screen, you're presented with the path that the installer thinks your voice attack is. If you have a standard install of voice attack like I do, it should find it. It may find your path if you're not a standard install, but if it doesn't find it, you will see a blank line there. So what you will need to know is where your path is. And since we looked at voice attack and you saw where your path is, you would hit the browse button here and you would navigate to wherever your voice attack is located. In my case, I am in the same place. And you would navigate to all the way to voice attack. And that's where you stop. Don't go any deeper into voice attack. So if you're on D drive, C drive, Steam install, whatever, stop at voice attack. Hit OK. Just like that. There should be nothing after voice attack. Once that's set, you would hit next. This gives you an option to use a start menu folder. If you don't want it, check that box. And that basically gives you access to uh, files that you haven't looked at yet. Hit next. This gives you your final option to check to make sure everything's good. And since I have voice attack and nothing after it, uh, it should be good. I'm going to hit install. It installs, it registers it, gives me a special thanks. I hit next. And then I finish. Now my plugin is installed.